<laughs> you know, come, you know, just if if you look at it, and being a former dirt packer, mm-hmm. drag racer, uh, been around the sport for years ever since I was a kid. Born in Alabama, around Donnie Allison, Davy Allison, Bobby Allison, the whole Alabama gang. You know, ten miles from my house. You know, and I went up there all the time. Even the big boys, I won't say they try to cheat, but they look. <laughs> they look. It's like drag racing. You're looking for every thousandth of a second to improve your car, to get your edge, and you've got to, you've got to have one up on the guy that you're racing against. You know, it doesn't come down to the driver per se. Sometimes it does. But if you've got a good car and you know it, it's going to run faster regardless of whether it is or not because you, you understand and believe in that. And people that hasn't been around the racing circuit or been in the pits and been around the drivers and the crew chiefs and the wives and the kids that's over there, they really haven't seen the fellowship and the camaraderie between everybody over there. It's a, it's a family. It is. It is. And that's what we're looking forward to is get down to the Southern Oregon Speedway family and meeting, you know, all the new drivers, yep. uh, being in a new environment that um, honestly, I have heard nothing bad about. <laughs> this is, this is, this is makes, this makes me feel good going into where, where you guys are at and what you guys have built there yeah. in just a very, very short time. Um, talking with the drivers that are down there, everybody has given me positive feedback about the track, the the program, what you guys are doing, and I think a lot of people are really going to start taking notice uh, and and saying, hey, what are they doing down there that's different? You know, what what's going on? Why are people so happy down there? Because, like you said, you, you look around and the camaraderie is there, yes, but there's also that negative element where, you know, like Mike said, guys are going to look for. I'll say cheating elements. <laughs> I'll just say it. I mean, it happens. I mean, okay, so if you go to a racetrack and the scale doesn't work, what do you think most guys are going to do? They're mm-hmm. taking weight off their car. That's yeah. just what they're – they know they're not going to be scaled. They're taking weight off. Mm-hmm. Now, there's the guys that are honest that won't do that. Um, I know down there you guys have a have some tech officials that look at that stuff. and have Russ Bryan down there. Russ is a great tech man. He He's on top of all that stuff. So. Well, and that's, that's what is part of making – a track successful and keeping the competition level. Yeah. Um, because I know guys will, and that's just the nature, like Mike said, it's the nature of the sport, trying to get past. Oh, yeah. Or get into that gray area. Well, it's not illegal, but. Almost. It should be. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> they but had that old saying that you're only cheating if you get caught, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Yep. Exactly. That That is very true. Uh, a lot of exciting things coming up at Southern Oregon in oh, 2019. Yeah. You guys have put together one heck of a schedule. a great schedule. I mean, I mean I, I'll tell you honestly, this is what I'm excited about. From where I come from, it was the same program nearly all the time. Yeah. What you guys have going on down there with late models, you've got your four-cylinder, uh, yeah. what do you guys, the pro- what were those called? The the, the four cylinder late, late model lights. Late model lights. That's where I was like, yeah. Mini stocks, three different versions of four. Wing sprint cars, non wing yeah. sprint cars. You've got the dwarf cars. Yeah. You've got, I mean, sport mods, IMCA modifieds. I mean, we're we're gonna see a lot of different stuff, and that keeps things uh, a really a refreshing deal. Oh yeah. It keeps. I mean, because you're you're looking at something new all the time. And I think the fans the fans appreciate that. I mm-hmm. mean, is seeing the rotation come through, and the, and well, the Iron Giant series will be there yeah. this year. That's going to be a big deal. I mean, I know it's been successful the, the last Memorial couple of times Day they've weekend. been there. Yeah, I mean, they they put on a great show last year, and there was uh, uh, over 20 cars for that one. And uh, Yeah, they uh, even though they run a, a longer race, they they roll through it pretty quick because uh, I see a lot of respect out there. You know, there's not a lot of banging and hitting. And, I mean, they race hard, and uh, I think they were a 50-lapper, I believe. They do yeah. run 50, and, yeah. Uh, man, it's over before you know it, but you're also watching uh, some good battles, not not right. only for the lead, but all the way through the pack, and it's kind of refreshing to see. There is a lot of quality drivers yes, on that series, is. and I know that talking with, with Chris Sign and, and James. James Whitehouse recently, those two guys, <laughs> I think they're more excited about that particular show than any of them on the, yeah. on the card this year. They absolutely love that track. Oh, yeah. You know, the way they were treated, the reception from the mm-hmm. fans, the racing, like you talked about, Mike, it, it, it just makes for a good deal for that for that series. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I had my next door, and I was talking to Mikey. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm talking yeah, about? Mikey Burnham. Yep. yep. He's He's got a dwarf car. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking to him the other day, and I said, you know, I said, I told him, I said, we have, we're going to be at SOS this year. And he says, well, do they race dwarf cars down there? And I said, well, yeah. 
he goes, are you serious? And I said, well, of course. And he said, I'm coming. So we've <laughs> well, got he my better next... bring his A game because the dwarf car program down there, those yep. guys are oh, those serious. Guys are good yeah. Those are th- they're serious. Well, he's been working on his car now for the last three weeks, and I was over there the other day when we when I had that uh, nice riverfront property, <laughs> 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 and he got he got flooded out. His garage got flooded, but he had his had his car out and he was checking it out last week. So I know, and I've talked to a couple other drivers here, and they're headed south. This year, oh yeah, they're going to come try it out. We've so I'm excited about that. With quite a few drivers that make, they're making plans to head down there and, and see what this buzz is all about and with the big change. And, and I was uh, looking at, uh, I was looking at Don's pictures the other day that he put up on the website. And I looked at, and being the drone pilot, I looked at that and I went, oh goody, mm-hmm. you know. We keep we keep talking about mm-hmm. in your face racing. Mm-hmm. And last year we gave. All our spectators and all our fans and everybody on Moxie Media, we gave them in-your-face racing. Truly. Because here I'm sitting on the front straightaway, 12 feet off the ground, right in the middle of the track. The cars are coming to me, and I'm zooming at them at about 30 miles an hour. And everybody going, wow, I've <laughs> mm-hmm. never seen that before. Well, well guess what? <laughs> guess what? That's what I was getting that, ready to say. <laughs> that we are the leading cutting edge of aerial photography for the race and dirt track business. And last year we had a we had a really good time trying to figure out what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, is the drone gonna last, will it eat too much <laughs> dirt? And you know what? We did a hundred and seventy six flights last year. Wow. Twenty nine little over twenty nine point three hours of total video. That's and just video from the just video the aerial from the drone. drone. That doesn't count our in car stuff and Nope. And <laughs> never had one problem except the oopsie for me down at the Bud Nationals. I kind of like backed into the fence. Oops. <laughs> but it was awful funny watching the guy coming. You know, the guy ran past me as I'm running to try to get the drone. It's upside down. They're fixing to start the race, and I'm hollering, drone down, drone down, drone down <laughs> over the radio. They threw the yellow. They <laughs> threw the yellow. And here, here the one guy out that pulls the cone off the racetrack. He comes by me like I'm backing up. I've never seen a guy run that fast. And he took down and run down and grabbed the drone by the – by now, the legs, now this it is over. the funny part of the story right here. So the yeah. guy grabbed the drone. He grabs the drone. It's, it's upside still down, and it's still running. <laughs> he grabs it, points it up, and it goes, hmm, I'm headed toward the right direction. It's trying to fly away. <laughs> it's trying to yank his arm off. Yeah, and he's hollering, get this thing, get this thing, you know. <laughs> and I, out of all the melee that was going on, I couldn't under I, – I never thought about – turning it off <laughs> why, i'm worried about would you? i'm worried i'm worried about the drone getting run over you know that was my main thing but it was so comical watching him run toward me with a look out of his face hollering come get this thing come get this thing <laughs> it was hilarious <laughs> it really was um what i'm excited about for southern oregon the new feature we have is we we had a great drone last year you guys really a nice one two of them this actually. year's this year's drone we have the super drone of the drone world. It's the cream of the crop in the drone drone, drone world. We're talking 4K video, 45 miles per hour, this drone. Wow. And we're going to get some great action overhead and track side. And Ed is so good to, to bring that drone right down to the driver's window. Yeah. I mean, he, he just – he's – He's a federally licensed pilot, and he does a very good job of that thing. Oh, wow. Um, That's on top of our fence cams we'll have mounted up. We're going to have the in-car camera. Um, We've got a cream of the crop. We spent some money this year in the off-season for video. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a video camera there to capture all the action for highlight reels and playbacks. And, I mean, it's it's a different different world. Um, My my vision for the year, and I hope this comes to fruition, is we're going to go live. On some races, free, and then maybe we can get a pay-per-view also. We'll and do some some heat yeah. race type stuff just to give people a quick look. Of, hey, yep. this is what's yeah. going on out here. If you're not here, yeah. you should be. I mean, you're going to be at the fastest one-third mile track. With, with I mean, when it comes to dirt tracks in the yeah. northwest, there is not a facility around that matches Southern Oregon Speedway. It is the standard. I mean, it's a beautiful facility. Oh, it is beautiful. Um, the view is great. The the backdrop, I don't know if you can find a prettier backdrop anywhere. It's, it's, gonna, it's just the whole element down there. Um, we are excited about it. Larry Adams is listening in from Antioch. Hi, Larry. How you doing, buddy? Um, <laughs> we're, we're really excited to bring our element down to Southern Oregon and raise the level. Um, 
from what has been there and, and Mike help you really get this thing into high gear. I know that, uh, like I said, a lot of the racers we've talked to down that way are just super excited about what's going on and the change. And I had a short conversation with Mark Waggy not long ago, and he is just, he's pumped about 2019 and, and what's oh, going yeah. on. So he's going he, for the championship. He it would, did. It would he, be number eight if he could pull it off. Eight-time track champ if he can get it. Now, that's yeah. not an easy feat to no. just win one, but seven. And then against the competition, yeah. you guys have downward modifieds. I mean, yeah. you guys draw some big names from yes. from the California region. You know, I mean, we know we see uh, Robbie Sawyer come up and Bobby Hogue. I think Dotson was there once last he, year. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about yeah. the elite on the West Coast, and those guys are showing up, and, and, and Waggy will give them a run. Yeah, he's won – 49 career modified main events. He's number one all time, and the second most is uh, Don Estramado. He's got 27. So Waggy's third all time on the overall win list at the track. We talk eight championships. There is one guy who's done that. Frank Ward the third won eight pro stock titles in a nine year span. Eight and nine years. Yes, so. That's what we call domination. Yeah. <laughs> he was good, and he was beating some good racers in those days, too. Yeah, the pro stock class is something that. Um, I think you guys are really the only track that has that here mm. in the state. Uh, I I enjoy the class. We go, we see them down, and when we head down to to the Bakersfield Budweiser Nationals, oh yeah, we see them down right. there, and they actually provide great racing entertainment for the fans. Given that yeah. they're, we if you want to call it a late model type car, tire, yeah. on a G60 tire, I mean, it, it, you got to be a driver. Yeah, <laughs> you well, got your hands full. They get to be a part of three uh, our shows, two of our biggest, mm -hmm. the uh, Roger Howden Shield, 7th Annual Roger Howden Shield Tribute on June 1st. Then they're going to be there for the R. Charles Snyder Salute. This is one I'm excited about. On, on Labor Day weekend. and uh, So they'll be there those two times on July 13th. We'll get them. Mm -hmm. but the, I mentioned that I might as well hit on the big races. Absolutely, and that's what we're here uh, for. We're here to talk yeah. about Southern Oregon and the schedule and what's going on. Um, yeah. You, everybody that knows me knows I'm a big late model guy. Yeah. I love the, I love race cars, period. I'm a big late model guy. I'm really looking forward to this new event that, that Mike's got, the Cottonwood Classic. Cottonwood Classic. A lot of um, around that race right now. We're $4,000 yes. to win. Get I ready. Think, I think we're, that's the biggest paying race on the West Coast for the late models. Right I now. do believe you are correct, and I know I've talked to a lot of California guys, yeah. and they're saying, hey. Oh, yeah. We're coming. <laughs> do we have do we have overflow parking? We we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. I'll tell you that right now. But yeah, August twenty fourth for that. Mm -hmm. But we've also got our big modified shows too. I'm like looking like forward to. I'm really yeah. looking forward to the the R Charles. The R Charles Snyder salute. I'm very passionate about that one because he was just a respected mm -hmm. member of the community. DJ right. for forty years. He announced at Southern Oregon, mm -hmm. Medford before that. Right. And everybody just loved him. And I'm so proud that we've been able to have that race. It's five thousand dollars to win the mini event for them and the sport modifieds. That's awesome. Two thousand dollars to win for them. So and the Iron Giant. Iron Giant also. Weekend. Iron yep. Giant on Memorial Day weekend. It'd be May twenty. 25th, I think it is. May 24th. 24th. 25th, I think they're well, up Southern in. Well, uh, SouthernOregonSpeedway.com. Yeah. If I get wrong on the schedule, That's right. we have a printable <laughs> schedule there. Mm -hmm. But uh, we also have uh, the uh, Hers Precision Parts uh, Wingless Sprint right. Car Challenge Race on August 3rd. That's $3,500 to win yep. a big wingless race. That'll be a big one. Ironhead Nationals the next week. Biggest limited sprint race, on, I think, $2,000 to win for that one. Right. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we have the IMCA Wild West Speed Week race that will be coming on June 22nd. Always, always and a uh, great race, a great series. And the Roger Howden Shield, I mentioned that one, the Roger Howden Shield tribute because it's a bigger money race for the modified. Mm -hmm. uh, Dusty's Transmissions out in Central Point, and the, and the Howden Shield family sponsors that. And uh, we're proud to help make that. Last year we had just three cars shy of 100 cars for that race. And then we blew it out of the water for the R. Charles Center Salute over 130 cars. That's, yeah. So that's we're very encouraged. But yeah. And, uh, that's going to be an looking, awesome show. So. so a lot of exciting things going on. Yes. Mike, I want to know what you're most excited about for, for the new season. I mean, being in the game so long, I know. If you guys don't know, let me tell you something about Mike McCann. If you don't know Mike McCann, he is just laid back. He's just relaxed. He doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't get all fired up. and, no, he, and he just He's just steady Eddie right here, you know. He's just cruising, and, and he's watching, very observant. He listens when you talk. I mean, he's watching everything you do. But I want to know what you're excited about because you've got a lot on your plate this year. Well, I think basically, you know, just, you know, getting to our fourth year. I mean, uh, it's always exciting to, you know, rebuild something and bring it back to life. There's a sense of accomplishment in it. And, uh, you know, in our fourth year, there's things are coming. It, it's not like it hasn't been a struggle. It was. Mm -hmm. Um 
first couple of years, I'd say we're pretty trying. <laughs> and uh, that's 